hello friends now let's see what exactly is the early idoc and uh, try to explain it in two minutes so i take a simple scenario as a layman we can attribute the things with the early idoc concept suppose you're sending a letter to a receiver office you're the sender office and uh, you have the content of letter what do you do you write the content so let's suppose the content is customer data and you put it in an envelope and give it to the postman so that's what we generally do Let's what exactly is the content of letter content of letter is nothing but the idoc data record each data record is divided into different segments and each segment is nothing but a collection of fields so here you can see you're writing a customer uh, data letter and in the customer you have different segments means customer address the second segment is customer bank details and customer address does not hold anything it holds the fields basically each field basically holds the data okay so each segment is just a heading like customer address and customer bank details but the segment comprises fields which are supposed to hold the data so what is the IDA control record so whatever you write on the envelope that is to address and from address and the type of letter here the type of letter is customer so everything is held by the IDOC record and the postman here is early layer so this is what I was mentioning so the IDOC structure is similar to whatever you see on the screen now so it has got three parts one is the control record second one is the data records third one is the status records the control record as you can see right side which holds the to address and from my address and the type of the message the second one is the data record the data records is having even MARM segment and even MARM one MAKTM MARM segments so each segment is divided into different fields that's what we have seen in the earlier slide so control record data record the data record is subdivided into segments and each segment is a collection of different fields so what next the receiver receives the letter but he does not deliver the postman receives the letter and he does not deliver the letter to the receiver why because before delivering he is supposed to check whether the receiver address that has been mentioned on the envelope that is you mentioned to the receiver is that receiver name available in my accepted receiver list so it that is nothing but the W20 partner profile the partner profile needs to be maintained which says both this is the receiver and this is the message type that is the customer data type I am going to send it if that is maintained then only a layer will take it forward so here in our case the postman will check the accepted receiver list which is nothing but the W20 partner profile if everything is ok the sender that is the ALE layer goes to the receiver ALE layer so our intention is to drop the letter that is the envelope to the receiver office so he goes to the receiver office but in front of the receiver office there is a receiver ALE layer you see the cycle and the path that the sender layer is taking is already maintained by us in a RFC connection which is having the destination address that is the receiver address plus the username and password that we need to maintain in our sender layer then only he will come to know the exact receiver address and he delivers the letter to the security of the receiver office the security in turn similarly checks with his accepted senders list 
so he will not receive whatever the letter the postman or the la early layer gives to him he will check the sender address with the one that is maintained in the accepted senders list otherwise he will not accept that that list is nothing but the w20 partner profile at his end so we have seen two partner profiles one at the sender end the other one at the receiver end so both should include the sender and receiver as well as the message heading that is nothing but the customer data okay then the receiver security checks with the accepted senders list and he says okay yes i am supposed to receive a letter from the sender of this message type that is customer data okay then he goes to the receiver office and in the receiver office there are different departments sales customer hr material different departments are there but ours is the customer data so we cannot deliver the letter to the sales cannot deliver the letter to the hr material so customer department is the one that we need the security needs to deliver the letter so in our early technology terminology we call the departments as process codes so we have different process codes the idoc needs to be submitted to a particular process code. so he goes to the particular department that is the customer department nothing but the process code, and hands it over to the customer department and the customer department opens the envelope and reads out the actual content of the letter that you have written that reading or processing the content of the letter is nothing but the processing the customer data it's that the function module is assigned to the process code that is the department so pro the function module is nothing but a piece of code that actually reads the content of the data and processes the content of the data so this is all about a simple nutshell birds view of ali doc so the duration of the course is 2 weeks it's about 15 hours and uh, material and server access will be provided throughout the duration and uh, it could be one and a half hour one to one and a half hour per day and it's a week week decision <coughs> and you can contact me on uh, saikiran.abapnw@gmail.com or 9849211366